I, if you have snails and slugs, I have a little bit of a solution for you to, to manage them in your vegetable garden. Uh, the worst thing about snails, and probably slugs too, is that they eat the seedlings. And so you can hardly get a, a crop started because you, the seeds emerge and the snails eat them. It's not very smart of them. They should really wait until the plants are bigger before they demolish their next meal. Um, but there are things that you can do. Um, one, one strategy is to start plants early in a greenhouse before the snails and the slugs are actually out and about. And then you can get a lot of things started like spinach and lettuce and root crops um, unmolested by snails. But when you have to plant later in the year, when it's a little bit warmer and the snails are out, the best thing that you can do is to create a barrier around your plants very simply with some hardware cloth that will keep the snails out. And here's some cabbages that I started several weeks ago, and they're about grown to the limits of the cage, but they're within the, the boundary of being um, safe for the, you know, the snails probably won't be able to totally demolish them. And uh, in a minute, um, I'll show you how I made them. So here's what the hardware cloth looks like when you buy it at the hardware store. And it's not, it's not cheap, but you can use these cages over and over again. They'll last a very long time. And uh, the hardest part of making this cage is actually unrolling the hardware cloth. Um, here's a piece that I'm going to be using for making the cage. And I flatten this out by just unrolling the sheet as much as I needed on the ground and just walking on it and that will flatten out enough that you can really start working with it. The items you'll need to do this are your piece of hardware cloth, a block of wood for folding, tape measure, pen, tin snips, and some wire, or you can use twist ties uh, for, for holding the the bent pieces together. So you want to have at least a five inch apron from the top of the cage going down to the ground to give the plant space to grow upward. So you can use a tape measure and just measure. What you want to do is you want to find I'm using five inches here. You want to find the, the wire that corresponds to five inches or so. And then once you find that wire, you can just take the marking pen and start coloring that wire. Just following it all the way down to the other end. And Continuing you want to make sure you stay on the same wire and you want to have the same five inches all the way around the perimeter of the cage so that it will sit nicely on the ground. This is a place where precision really does help. And I've already got my mark over that way and my mark over that way. So I've made this five inch apron all the way around this rectangle. So to begin, you want to place your block along that wire that you've marked and just fold it up. You should be wearing gloves when you do this. And the 
block is for making sure that you're doing the fold evenly all the way around. And you can also use a hammer to bend it. And now we'll just continue around. All the way around. Now since we want this to be a box, we're going to have to cut it in order to fold this side up. So I'm just gonna cut it on the same wire that I've marked. This will be bent over on the other side of this, but first we'll this has already been pre-marked. Again, bending it up all the way down the side. Now, we can finish this corner by wrapping it over. We can actually squeeze it to make the corner. And making a bit of wire. Pulling the wire into a kind of a a V or a U shape, and then we can push the wire through and just tie it. And you can put a couple of wires in. And then just continue around the cage until it's done. Now uh, you want to put the the wires that hold these together kind of close to the edge. And two is probably better than one, but two is enough. Then you can just, you know, just one more time do folding along. Pinch the corners so it will stand as best as possible. And then it's ready to be put into the garden. And uh, if you don't have much room for storage in the winter, you can undo these uh, wires and just flatten it out and do it again next year. And uh, I think I'm going to actually show you how these can be moved because these cabbages that I planted in March. You can plant cabbages in fairly cool weather. Um, they're now big enough to withstand a little bit of snail damage. And I've just planted some pepper plants that I think could use a little bit of protection. So what you do is you just lift it up. to move it over to the, this part of the yard and you just press it into the ground make sure you're clearing all the plants you need to clear And then you could take a, a trowel and just push some dirt up against the cage. I'm just using my fingers here, but that will keep 
the snails at bay because the snails don't burrow. And there you have it. So come back for some more great gardening ideas. I have lots more things to show. Uh, many things for how to save some money and also how to get more plants out of a small space. And why not subscribe to my channel? Then you won't miss anything. See ya and thanks for watching.